guarding the president's executive order to restrict immigrants and refugees from certain countries. Crystal Jose looked into how it could affect one local business. Leah Babayan arrived in the United States 20 years ago as a refugee from Armenia. After living in other parts of the West, she settled here in 2006 and started a business. Reason being, this community adopted her. But now she sees a change towards refugees and immigrants in the Magic Valley, including issues with other businesses. That was even a, a real surprise to me because just within the business world, there's an attempt to have um, good relations and keep good relations going. But she tells me it was way before Trump's executive order and thought of moving. That's not an option when it comes to the roots that we have already, my family planted here, and the roots I would like my children to continue planting here. On the bright side, she's received an outpour of support from customers. It's not about immigrant business and non-immigrant business. It's about small businesses. They need that support on a day-to-day -day ba uh, basis. In Twin Falls, I'm Crystal Jose for Local 11 News.